Well, greetings one and all, and welcome back to another video here with your host, Andrew. Now, I do have an apology to make. I haven't been present here for the past month, and that's because I've been doing various other things at the weekend. I've also needed a little bit of a break, uh, to be quite honest. Getting content done on here is a mission. You know, it's a good part of, you know, 24 hours plus to actually get content, to research it, and so on and so forth. And I'd like to try to give you the best perspective I can. And in order to do so, it does take time to, as I say, research and, you know, speak to companies. Yeah, it's not just a case of sitting in front of the actual camera and then spurting out a few things. There is so much which goes on in the background to actually producing one of these pen perspectives. So apologies again for the lack of content, but you know, it is what it is. So what we are going to be having a look at today is a pen from Ireland again. And that is the Gravitas Pocket with a force patina. If I can get it out, here we go. So this is what we're going to be having a pen perspective on today. So please join me over at the table where I'll give you my thoughts. Recently, I've had the pleasure of reviewing the Gravitas Skittles Pocket and Teal Entry. Today, I present you with something a little different. The difference comes in two factors, first the finish and secondly the nib. There is a multitude of reasons why I'd personally consider Gravitas the IT company of 2022. So without further ado, let's just do a brief history recheck. I have reviewed Gravitas before, however for those of you that are new to the channel, here is a brief recap. Gravitas is a still a relatively new company in the world of fountain pens, but Ben's passion and drive would give one an indicator of a more seasoned company. Gravitas, as some of you may know, started off life creating ballpoint pens, from which point Ben transitioned to fountain pens. And he still does do a few ballpoint pens you know, from here and there. Anyway, a very wise choice, sir. This transition was in the form of a Kickstarter project, which unfortunately failed. But with Ben's resilience and can-do attitude, Gravitas has only gone from strength to strength. Fast forward to 2022, Ben has had huge success with creating pens and has garnered a lot of interest from popular channels on YouTube and various other social media platforms. Now, if you do take anything out of today's pens perspective, I really just want you to remember that you should just never give up. Never give up on what your hopes and dreams are because you are making progress day by day. Okay, we're now going to move on to talking a little bit about the practicality of this pen. Pocket pens are pretty damn fantastic. Easy to store and in this case, easy to transform. One moment it fits in the palm of your hand and the next, just like Optimus Prime, it transforms into a full size phantom pen. Okay, Optimus Prime was a gargantuan robot, but I think you get what I'm trying to strive at. The practical aspects just don't stop here. Although there is no traditional roll stop, pen has created a slice on the bottom of the pen and this allows you to rest your pen without the worry of the pen rolling off your desk. Absolutely marvellous. Of course, small pens have one common issue and that is ink capacity. So this pen only takes short international cartridges. Still. If you want to have more ink capacity, you can check out Ben's website where he has also another pocket pen made out of a different material which allows you to actually eyedrop it. So that is one way to solve this issue. Okay, so now let's have a look at the section. So this is where Ben really shines and you'll notice the ribbed indentation. This makes gripping for the pen an absolute delight. Normally with metal pens, one may struggle, especially when your fingers are slippery or a little bit moist. Okay, let's now have a quick look at the patina finish. Now, some of you may be a little bit concerned whether or not the finish will actually rub off or not. Now I have in full disclosure, actually taken some pat sandpaper and just gone around the edges and yes of course you can take off the edge i've done that purposely because i really like just a little bit of that brass coming through on those edges not too dissimilar to the tamanuri effect which you get on japanese arushi pens anyway 
I quite like this idea of distressing the pen and it sort of makes it more of your own at the same time. Sorry Ben, uh, but uh, that's just a, a personal personal aesthetical choice. Anyway, I can tell you that the, the finish is pretty tough and it did take a quite a lot of effort to actually accent those edges, but whether or not this finish stands the test of time has yet to be seen. Okay, I will come back to this in a few months time just to have a look and see how well it holds up. Okay, now let's move on to the next section. Now do remember that these are my own thoughts and perspectives. Okay, so on to what is probably the most apparent aspect of this pen. Yes, that's right ladies and gentlemen, the eye candy. To state this pen is pretty would be an understatement. The Force Patina is probably one of the most attractive finishes of 2022, certainly in regards to Gravitas pens. Of course this is not a new process, but it's also not very common. Only a small handful of manufacturers I know do this, Karas Customs being one of them. What I especially love about this finish is that in a sea of acrylic and metal pens, just seeing something a little bit different on a metal pen is incredibly refreshing. So what I especially love about this pen is the aquatic vibe. If I didn't know better, I would have to have a guess to say that this pen had been sitting at the bottom of the ocean for the past few years. Of course, this is not the case. Ben hand patinas each of these pens and the quantity is also extremely limited. So if you landlubbers wish to acquire one of these delectable delights of the depths, you will need to have members only access. This is where Ben is releasing more of his experimental and creative pens, but only for prior purchases, and I'll talk a little bit about that more later on. But as we turn the pen, you get a real sense of the sea with the beautiful greens and blues. I love the sense of depth to this pen, and certainly has inspired me to have a go at painting pens again. Now the execution of the patina is excellent and does give you a slight texture to the hand. This is a lovely tactile feeling, but may not be to everybody's taste. Okay, now let's have a quick look at the writing experience. Writing with this pen is fantastic. The steel nib is stiff, but with enough tension you can get some decent line variation. Now one point to consider though, is that it does come equipped with a plastic feed, and it's not really designed to keep up with flex rising. So, if you want to have any success with this pen in terms of flexibility writing, do go slow. Anyway, if you don't flex, the nib writes absolutely wonderfully and it is very precise. You'll be pleased to know that there's no hard start, skips or burping with this pen. Ben does also offer a number of other writing nib widths, ranging from extra fine up to stubs. And there's a few other bespoke options as well if you go and check his website. Now, I do believe that those options are only available on members only access. So do maybe consider buying a pen and then checking out what comes up in the future. Right, now we're going to be talking about the customer service and ownership of a Gravitas pen. This is something which I feel which is completely underrepresented in terms of fountain pen reviews. Definitely something which people need to consider when making a purchase. Last thing you want is to buy a pen and not have the service as and when you need it. Hopefully you will never need it, but you know, there are the times. Anyway, I digress, let's move on to the next section. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I do have to hand it to Ben. At the beginning of the week, Ben messaged me to say that he wasn't particularly happy about the finish of the pen which I just purchased. So he asked if I wanted to wait a little bit longer for him to redo another pen and perfect the finish. Naturally, I said that was completely fine. What I do find particularly refreshing is his proactive nature and action of reaching out to state those imperfections. This is something which you really benefit from with a smaller company. Now I've also spoken to Ben on numerous occasions about things which I haven't necessarily seen to be quite right and he's always taken it on board. Ben is one of those kind of guys which is very community focused and always takes feedback whether it's on the finishes or the actual general construction and this is something which I find particularly refreshing. 
it's not often that you get to really talk to the actual owner of a company and this is really the benefit of again dealing with smaller companies so Ben I have to hand it to you your customer service is exquisite now one last point I really want to talk about and that is the shipping times as we all know uh, from previous members saying well where's my pen this was never actually Ben's fault you see AN post was running pretty much on a skeleton crew and parcels were getting backed up and backed up and backed up this basically meant that people were getting very frustrated with Ben when really it wasn't his fault you know he was trying his best to try and resolve the issues and you know fortunately AM post is now running at its optimum speed again so that is fantastic now let's give you some final thoughts on this pen what I especially love about Gravitas is their pricing versus design language Pens retail for approximately 60 to 100 pounds depending on your exchange rate and come in a variety of different lavish finishes. I'll provide you with a link in the description to go and check out his pens. Considering what you're getting, I feel that you're certainly getting your money's worth and at the same time you're supporting a wonderful human being. Now onto this pen specifically, both the writing and the design of the pen is fantastic and I especially love the fact that the patina will just really give your pen something very very unique. Now of course we do have to consider that this won't be to everybody's taste and you do need to be a member of the Gravitas family I guess in order to be able to access such pens so you know you, you do have to buy yourself a pen from the main shop before you do get access but I really want to just talk a little bit about that now the members only area is fantastic and it's a way of treating prior purchases and giving new buyers something to look forward to now I do believe that Ben every month or so does plan to release you know more pens to the members only access area and those will probably come in small quantities definitely something worth checking out every few weeks just to see what is popping up there now going forwards what Ben has in plan is exciting he's shown me a few different plans of things which are coming up which I can't disclose or even talk about because they may not even come to market but if any of the fraction of the pens which he has actually come up with with designs with its filling mechanisms or what do come to fruition guys you are certainly in for a treat now that is for it today apologies again for the lack of content but uh, I am back but whether I'm doing these pen reviews every single week I don't know yet anyway do stay safe and I shall see you in another video till then goodbye for now